everybody. I thought I'd just jump in here and do a video about my solo bum bag, which I am taking away on this year's trip and show you everything that I'm putting in it. So with that, I'm just going to jump straight in. So I have the solo bum bag here and it has got a front pouch. It has a small zipper pocket here, a large pocket and one on the back. And that is where I'm going to start today. So in this back pocket, I am going to put a little tie, which you can put on a food bag. So if you're in a hostel, you need to label your bag of food. This comes in very handy. I've got a spare pen cartridge for my pen. I have my pen. I have most important document of all, which is my passport. I have got some stickers, which are my Nan with a backpack QR codes. So they are going in just to keep them flat. And I have my purse and in here I have got some Hong Kong dollars and my Revolut cards, which just saying, but I will not travel without my Revolut cards now. And that goes in and that is now packed, zipped, done. Turning over, we have this tiny little zip here, which people think you can't get much in. But this is home to my Apple Air tag. That is going straight in there. I then have a couple of uh, cables, one of which I have lost. So I've got three in total. I think the other one is charging my battery pack at the moment. I will fetch that in a minute. So I have this, which is the old D charging one. Just a little one. These are to use with my battery pack. In that goes. I have got my iPhone charger, which is the lightning cable there. Let's pop that in. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, it is down here. Let me just excuse my backside. I've just charged my battery and this is the new C type battery here. So I will pop that in the bag too. I also have a converter from a lightning to a C, just in case that goes in. And I have a little watch charger. You put the lightning cable in here. You can get this off of Amazon as well. I will link it below. Oh, I will link it below in the description for you. And I have my connector for my Sony over the ear headphones for the aircraft. I've put that in there because it's small and I know where it is. It's the ever increasing pocket this. I know it fits because I've just taken it out. Let's put it in. There we go. Zip up. Next, we have the main compartment. When you look in here, you can see this little pocket does eat into the main compartment, but that's fine. I've had this for quite a long while now, and last year I battered it. It is coming apart a little bit, but I haven't found one that I like anymore. Right, the big compartment. We have my battery pack. That goes in. We have my small pair of glasses from Poundland, which are brilliant because they fit in there just perfectly. They go in. I have a little tube of sweeties for the aircraft, if I would like them. Oh, I have my tiger balm. That goes down there. I have a spork. I broke the one last year, so this is a new one. And I have my DJI pocket, but hello, I am filming on this one now. So I'm just going to put the case in because I'm using it right now. So that goes in. 
I also have my little red bag here and in here I have my DJI mic and a couple of other bits. I've got a microphone for my um, iPhone as well. So that's that. They're just a couple of little bits, but I got this little bag in Thailand and it's brilliant. So that can go in there. Last but not least, I have my Apple AirPods. And this is something new that I found off of a um, YouTube channel. And for the life of me, I can't remember which one it was. But the first thing I did was order it. So have you ever been on a plane and dropped your Apple AirPods and then spent, I don't know how long, trying to fish to find one? This is just something small which pushes onto the ends of the AirPods so that when they're in your ears, if you fall asleep on the plane or something like that, they're round your neck and you don't lose them. They come in a pack of two from Amazon. I will find the link and I will put them in the description below. And when I get there, I will let you know how these work out. So let's pop this in here. One, two, and I found this little bag. And I just thought that would be very, very handy to keep the two of them together so that the cord doesn't get broken or yada, yada, yada. But let's just pop that in the little baggie. Keep it nice. Pop that in there. You can see why it's, um, this is a really good bum bag. And in the front here, oh, I forgot. I have got a little mask here, which I literally just put right up and push right up into that corner up there so that it's out the way. And I forget that it's there, but there. So this little front bit, it looks very small, but all of this here does fit in here. So I have got a collapsible fan. This goes in. I've got some little... Um, hand wipe wet wipes for the plane I have a nail file because you wouldn't believe the number of times that you just get a little catch on your nail and it's so annoying I have again from Amazon a very small pen just in case and I've got some refills for this in my purse this is a little pill pot so I've got a couple of paracetamol in there as a just in case I have another pair of glasses which I bought ages ago and I have no idea but again they come in handy I've got some very small cable ties because you never know if a shoe is going to break or a bag these come in really handy and they don't take up any space I have some cotton buds and some toothpicks in there. I've got some soap leaves. I have got a lip seal because on aircraft, your lips can get very dry. I've got a um, Boots nasal stick inhaler. A small thing of toothpaste, which I got from an amenities kit on an aircraft. A very small um, tiger balm that fits on there. And this is my last swab cotton buds cleaner. So that goes in there as well. And a very small, um, what would I call this? A very small medical kit. It's got some... Uh, Imodium, it's got a couple of sleeping pills in there, two more paracetamol and some pyrites and some lens wipes for my glasses. So all of that goes in the front in there and I zip it all up. There we go, done. On the outside, I have got three hairbands. I don't particularly need hairbands with the length of my hair at the moment, but they do come in handy. I've got a little clicker for my mobile phone camera 
which no, I don't know if you can see that. That comes in very handy if my camera is on the tripod and I need to turn it on and off from a distance. And then I have one of these small microfiber little towels on the side in case I go to a bathroom and there are no towels to dry my hands afterwards. Or I've also used it if I get, if I'm out for a walk and I get too hot and I need something to mop my brow but there we go that is my solo bum bag packed and ready to go off on my trip i do have a couple of other minimal packing videos so do check them out and i will catch up with you soon bye